this is not, you know, this is not an unfamiliar matchup with him if it was at all a moment ago. But never mind the familiarity. You're going to have to be familiar with everything Not Last throws out if you want to defeat him. Look at this Nair to Fair. Just to start off the down throw. 54% within 10 seconds of that turn up to dash attack. So, so good for putting on that pressure. Get some offstage for the Nair with the Nair pressure, but the turnip putting him at 105 before, last, uh, before not last even takes any percent of all that up tilt. We'll put on about 9% to just start things off. The down tilt from Clubber Dan just faces that Dark Knight the entirely wrong way. Not quite sure what you have the game from putting that in the wrong direction. That had to be accidental. And that Nair just gonna, from both characters, in fact, going to be faced with a shield. The dash attack from Dan Zelda. Down tilt, not gonna get the back air follow up. Turn it on the ledge, gets him with the edge of that ledge invincibility, just wearing off. Back air right into the shield for a second time, parries it this time. Although he'll be hit with a back air of his own. He's just floating back, you know, back to the ledge, not unlike Jagea at this point. Fair from not last going to be closing up the first dock. Only 42%. Dan will have to do a lot better with his neutral play if he wants to make this deficit up. Nair to fair from not last. And just gets him, clips him with that legend in invincibility going off. Once again, you can tell there's like just a timer in his head. Right as it wears off, he knows what to go for. Dark Knot will be putting Not Last into disadvantage. Up special not going to connect the second time, but the first time we'll be getting that initial weak hitbox. Gets the weak hitbox of that projectile as well. Each bomber's back. Down throw to potentially back air. No. That up special not going to connect as well. That won't provide all of the hits through the platform as well, so. That kill potentiality has been reduced for people looking to hit up special. For Peach Man's looking to hit up special. Speaking of hitting at the ledge, Clubber Dan, well timed Dark Knight as well, just as he does uh, not last. Legend of its ability it expires. But as I was saying earlier, not last, not quite sure if he's aware of the fact that if you don't hit with all of the hits of Peach's up smash, it won't send you as far not only horizontally, but vertically as well. So, you know, as an anti-airing option, that's just something you have to take into account. Bear going to send Clubber Dan at 148%, but not quite to the blast zone. Excellent DI just to avoid it. The death, the dash attack, no. This time, once again, just floating with the back turn. Not last, but the up. No, not quite. It... Zelda isn't a particularly heavy character, so just seeing Clubber Dan live to about 170 just shows not only how, you know, spot on his DI has been, but also, you know, some of his neutral tools as well, just avoiding the stronger options. We don't need a strong option. Peach is up, up air. That's as strong as option as any. Down throw from Dan, and that up air of his own going to bring not last to the last dock. 28% in the hole, but this is certainly, certainly a comeback that Dan can make and has made in the past. Just floats with an air on level of the platforms. That shield looking very tiny on not last's part. Not sure if he can blow it out too much more for the moment. He turns safely on stage and connects with a couple hits of that up special as well. Look at not, uh, look at Dan rather. He's just going for these back airs as soon and as often as he can. Some of these landing down airs as well. We see him charge the Dark Knight off stage. Not falling for it is not last. Just not going to 
come anywhere close to the stage with that present. He goes out the toe in the opposite direction. It's as, if, it's as if he was just reading a roll option. Clubber Dan has 120%. Although the back air will help close that deficit. And the fair, not quite, but that 140% just clips him. And then, no, it looks like he hasn't drifted too low. Well done from Clubber Dan. And that back air not going to quite kill across the stage, but the turn up coming out. You have to imagine one more fair or back air. Or even just a forward throw at this point will seal the deal. Perhaps a dash attack as well. Back throw, just not quite was in the wrong part of the stage. You don't want to be at center stage. Going for the kill there. That last hit of the dash attack, wow. The first two didn't connect, but... Not last, saying, I don't need every hit to the end for my moves when you're at 170%. And even with that last hit, that sparse, relatively sparse amount of knockback, I say relatively sparse, it's a huge dash attack, it still does quite a bit. Dan not phased too much by it, as you can see by his facial expression, you know, still focused as ever. Three, two, one, go! Into onto Battlefield. Uh, a place in it. I believe this is Winter Semi, by the way, so if we could get that change, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, game two, we'll see a couple of spot dodges from both characters. And now, uh, the down throw just eats after the death attack failed. From well, not last, Dan already doing some work here. Bomber, meanwhile, just going to return some of that damage straight to center. These dashing approaches, not last. Sometimes paying off, it did pay off there. But uh, you can eat quite the punish from it, as you just saw there with that back air. Each bomber is right back. Same vertical level as Dan when he was looking for the edge guard. Dan has him in the grab as well. Didn't quite pull the trigger on the back air, but uh, perhaps a forward throw. And the down air spike. Wow, out of nowhere from Dan. It looks like he had no, you know, just from the way he was setting up, it looked like he had no uh, onus to even try to go off stage, but he goes for it anyway and succeeds inside. Back to Captain Zelda. Dan is playing with the lead for the first time in this set. And the forward smash brings him up to 60%. The back hair! Wow, that killed early! Only like a shade into 60 and 70%, but at the ledge, with a move as strong as Zelda's back air, that killed so early, and that will be his reward for going for these laggy options. The shield looking small, but gets the grab anyway. Down tilt from not last, looking a bit phased, but he'll be playing neutral the same way as if it was three stocks of keys. Two shields. Just Peach Bombers directly into the shield as well, but Nair Peach pulls the turn up, gets around the reflector, times it. Times it well, but he'll need more than just good timing. He wants to make it back here. Wow, and just extends the hitbox off of that half finish Dark Knight with the fair. So smart from Not Last. Not quite sure if that was intentional, but intentional or not, it seals the stock anyway. Dash attack. Peach gets the turn it back. Now Zelda had the turn it for just, a just off to throw it away. Rapid jab from Dan. You know, any percent is good percent at this point when you're stock ahead. Low floating there. But not last. Just fishing for a down tilt to start mid percent combos. And if, oh no, that doesn't quite kill. Interesting. I was about to say that would have been an early robbery, but no matter that Toad doing the work. Bomber already, you know, putting on some of the shield pressure, not quite landing, but doesn't have to to secure the objective. Shield's still pretty small in the back air across the stage, so no potential danger of killing, but just Peach 
bombers into the dark net. And at 80%, Dan is already within fair range. He gets him to the right part of the stage. Back throw on Dan. He just charges up two of those uh, specials as well. Just putting out a barrage is Dan. And Dan is just saying, hey, you know, you're at high percent, and now you're going to have to maneuver through this labyrinth that I'm throwing out. So that turnip starting what could have been excellent combo. Down throw into the back air. And now not last slowly but surely starting to chip away at not only Dan's percentage, but also the shield and gets him off stage as well. Doesn't kill. Although that Dark Knight more than enough to finish it off. And we are going into game three. So good job from uh, from Clubber Dan in your winner semis to um, you know take a game off the one seed. But Dan will obviously be looking to do quite a bit more than that. He has his eyes on that place in winners finals. Once again, it wasn't really the stage that was the issue, uh, even though we do see a counter pick as far as that goes. Um, this is winner's semis, so if we could get that change. And in fact, we don't see a counter pick, so we'll be going right back. Change the game plan, but not the floor plan for not last. Down throw into up tilt. That is true at low percents. Uh, Zelda not, not quite light enough to escape that. Down throw into back air. Already at 55% she's down. Charges up partial amounts of that, although that back air, interesting. We've seen it as a kill option, but now we're also seeing it as a returning to the stage. Gets the grab in the forward throw. Not quite sure if that was the right option. Uh, that's not, I believe that's not Fusion's highest damage throw, but nevertheless, that up tilt into up air from Dan. Fair. For not last, just right as an instant response, I'm just gonna up special right back to the stage. Wants no part of that. And will not last. You're saying you want no part of that, you'll have to eat all of this. Up tilt already brings Dan up to 37%. 62 and even more as we keep going. This is looking pretty dismal for Dan if he's just gonna falling into the top of the DDZ. And Dan finally takes his stock of not, off of not last, almost two minutes in. Over the fair, and Dan just gonna return the favor. And now not last one stock away from punching his ticket into winner's finals. So he will have to escape this ledge trap so far from Dan. Uh, you know, as far as Dan's woes in neutral have been from this game, his ledge pressure and his offstage pressure haven't been that bad. So, you know, if he can fix some of these neutral problems and if he can space around with bears like that, he should be right back into this in no time. Good ledge trump. And he floats right out of range of that down, uh, down smash. Down throw into bear. An option not last has been loving this set so far. That Dark Knight gonna attack through the stage. And now at 77%, Dan is gonna have to find something before things get to an unreachable point. Dash attack will do it. And at 92%, this is where it has to be. It's now or never for Dan as not last knows what he has to do. Gets him with the ferret, pulls these turnips. Down smash won't do it, but throws a turn up to cover what would have been a normal recovery. Good from Dan to just stall in the air a little bit by charging. Dash attack into the air. Look at how small Dan's shield is. Just escapes right off the edge of the stage. Peak bomber when you know when properly spaced 
obviously has that end lag, but if you are going to use it as a point on stage where you can float off stage at the end and part of it, you know, it's a good option. Just stands on top of the Dark Knight, interestingly enough. In the back throw, this could spell trouble for not last be not careful. The forward smack from Dan, that will do it. Wow. Only 90% to throw for it before that connected. The percent. That is no matter for Dan. This is, of course, a best of five, so this won't be over for not last just yet, but uh, that is not a promising option for not last. He just had control the entire match and let it slip away last second. So, you know, that has to be so disheartening. But for Dan, that's the break exactly that he needed. Not last, of course, not willing to give up now. Nair from Dan. The first time we've really seen that predominantly as his low percent option of choice. The fair off of the Nair. Already going to put Dan at 65. The Dark Knight just retaliating a little bit, but even so, these Nairs off stage have been putting in the work for not long. That forward smash not going to hit anything other than not last shield. Another instance of that shield is dwindling. Dan knows he can get the pressure, although he's going to eat that F air of his, of his opponent. That back air did sweet spot, but once again, it was right in the not last shield, so Dan will have to find that option another time. That forward smash. And gets the spike hitbox of the down air as well. This is a lot better for Dan. Brings it to two socks apiece. Not last does have a turn of hold and that just after discarding it, throws out a fair as well to get the club up to 113% and hits with every hit of that up smash. Will bring the club one stock away from forcing a deciding game five. Forward throw and into the dust nut charge, but just can hit the shield again. Good sweet spot on the bear. Another right right out of harm's way, not last, just drifting inwards and outwards. Up air through some of these platforms, these landing areas have been a favorite of his. Good fair. Throws the turn up upwards, out of space of the reflector, and just dodges right through what could have been a hard hitting up smash. Fair from, uh, from not last, but Dan, before, you know, this is very doable. Uh, it's looking less doable now after that forward throw, but 130% to make up, 143% now. It has the stitch face. Good into the shield. Refusing to battle the pressure, although he will be bowing to that fair right there. Not last. One more game for both of them. Game five of winner semis, the one seed versus the four seed. Or not versus the four seed, but versus someone who defeated the four seed, rather. One person looking to maintain his favorite status. One person looking to pull the upset. It hasn't been, you know, it hasn't been the cleanest and smoothest of roads for not last thus far, although he can just put it behind him for one more game. He'll be into winners finals. This is the decider. Same stage. Uh, just pulls a turn up early. Interesting how he'll be using that a bit more, perhaps in neutral. Uh, it's a ledge guarding option. It's an edge guarding option as well, but. For not last, it's now going to be perhaps some of the options that he needs to start his combos. 
Relatively defensive start, uh, especially on the part of Clubber Dam. Spot dodges out of the way of the first hits of the air, but gets hit by the last one. And that landing there for not last. Just adding more percent. Just over the Dark Knot as well. Good good float timing from not last, although he'll be eating that bear sweet uh, that bear sweet bot. Excuse me. Nair into up air from not last. And the back air just to send him right ping pong across the stage. And that low float spaced fair. So, so deadly and extravagantly used by not last. Only at 74% as well, so not exactly in the highest of percents. Does pull another stitch face from the looks of it. Looking to perhaps dwindle some of the shield before he throws it out. Perhaps looking for a potential shield break. He's designing it so he gets that shield to about you know, half health. Perhaps, you know, letting the stitch face take care of the rest, but did have to get rid of it eventually. They're following him off stage with the fair, and now has a two stock lead. This is looking very one sided for not last. Gets him with the first hit of fit, uh, up air twice through the platform, three times through the platform. Just floats right over the up smash, takes a well from Dan. And that up air calls him out with the landing. Good, good call out from Dan. Not last, just taking a, just a small moment to collect himself on the platform. Both people just playing a game of chicken with their shields. Up specials back to that side platform. To grab it. Down throw in the back air, just so, so useful. Once again. Floating. How can we do it? That, that forward smash won't do it, but the back air on Dan's part. Perhaps closing the deficit. The Nair as well pulls out the turnip. Game five, this is looking like not last game at the moment, but who knows? Anything could change. More turnips in neutral in these Nairs. Unrelenting pressure. Up smash just out of range, but the fair also just out of range. Peach Bomber's injured. Clubber Dan shield. The neutral, uh, the up special from Dan. 123% and counting. And gets the Mr. Saturn as well, just throws it away. Floating in and out with these mares and saying, there it is, there's the crown. This is what I'm going for. The forward throw. What could be a turnip? Could be any of a myriad of options from not last. But he's saying, I will play safe as much as you allow me to. Good dash attack from Dan. Up special to go through. Back air into the shield. Dash grab won't connect. And the back air, weak hit of the back air. Coming in from not last. Trying to get all of this away cleanly would be devastating to lose this with a 100% lead. Back throw from Zelda. Just floats under that. Oh no! Two frames in with the Dark Knight! Oh no, no, no! That is not at all what Not Last Vision. But good upset coming out from Clubber Dan. He's been so effective, especially in the clutch moments. And after playing down almost that entire game, just two frames at the most opportune time, he'll be into winning.